Have you been changed? Have you been made anew? Have you truly given over your life to Christ? When you feel low, when the pressures are too much, do you turn to Him? Is He your rock and foundation? Is He your love, your first love, your desire with everything that you are? We have to look towards ourselves, Christians. We have to acknowledge our own wickedness because He will bring forth change. We need to be changed. We will be so vastly different than who we were. There are many people that might view me in the life that I've lived and see me preaching the words of the Lord and they call me a hypocrite. And I was at one point, my life was wickedness. I was no better than anyone else. I could have been, I was probably worse than most, to be honest. I was a terrible man, but then the Lord changed me, put something in my heart with those desires of wickedness, deceit, subtlety, deception, all the things that fill up humankind, that fill up the way we interact with each other. Those things were done away with. I was able to put away the old man. But just because you put away the old man today does not mean the battle is done. The war is daily. We must war against the flesh. We must war against the spirit, spiritual wickedness in high places. These principalities that seek to oppress. We must stay firm in the faith and know that challenges will come because the devil is a lion, lion seeking whom he may devour. Those that stand steadfast in the faith. That is the most important part of that verse. He goes after those that know the Lord, that stand steadfast in what He has laid for us to do, to evangelize the Word, to preach His name across all of the land, to see the kingdom be built, and to be ready when He is at the door knocking. Well, I have a question for you. Will you be ready when the Master is at the door, or will you turn away and go back to sleep? Think about this as you go about your day and have a blessed day.